we're going to be doing reading on the run. We're going to do something called Reader's Workshop. And today, I just want to let you know what Reader's Workshop is. So, what happens, Romello, is that first, we have something that we call a mini lesson on the carpet. That's what we're doing right now. It's when Miss Thompson is talking to you. And Charlie, what should you be doing? If I'm talking, what are you doing? Yeah, you're listening. So this is when you're learning and Miss Thompson's going to teach you something new about reading. And then you're going to have time where you're going to get to practice and read books. And then we're going to come back to the rug and we'll get to share what we learned. Today I just want to talk to you about the mini lesson. What do you think that you should look like during our mini lesson? What should you be doing while Ms. Thompson is teaching? Malia? What should you look like? Because you look perfect right now. Yeah, you should look like you're listening. How should your body look? Damari? You look perfect. What do you look like right now? sitting crisscross, hands in your lap. What do you think our classroom should sound like? If Miss Thompson's up here teaching, what should it sound like, Michaela? A level one? Should you be a level one or should Miss Thompson be a level one? Mm -mm. If Miss Thompson's teaching, Malia, what level should you be? A level zero. A level zero, right? Our room should be quiet because you need to hear what Miss Thompson's talking about. Turn and face our reading chair. Today I want to make a little chart to help remind you what you need to look like during our mini lesson. Because there's four different things that you can do to show Ms. Thompson that you are ready to learn. So Ms. Thompson's going to put the title on top of our chart and it's going to say we, can you read that?
remember, that means just like our SOP says, we have what in our mouth? So show me that you're ready to learn. Let's practice. Be quiet as a mouse. Let me see those bubbles. And then there's one more thing you can do to show me you're ready to learn. Does anybody know what kind of food that is? Michaela? A pretzel. Oh, it's a pretzel. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, y'all look like pretzels right now because in our SOP, when we tell that we're going to sit crisscross applesauce, that's just like a pretzel. So everybody show me you're ready to learn by sitting crisscross applesauce in your seat. Nice job. All right. Who can tell me one of the things you can do to show me you're ready to learn? Malia, what's one thing that shows me you're ready? Crisscross applesauce. Awesome. You look like a pretzel. You're crisscrossing your spot. Damari? You're listening. Your ears are open and you're listening to Miss Thompson. Eaton? Your eyes are on the teacher. And our last one, Antonio? Um, quiet. You're as quiet as a mouse so that you can listen. All right, we're going to practice. Now, like Ms. Thompson said, every day before Reader's Workshop is our dance video. So everyone stand in your circle and pretend like we're doing our dance video. Because when we're doing our dance video, we're all standing up. And then Ms. Thompson's going to say it's time to start Reader's Workshop. Can you show me you're ready to learn? What does it look like? Good job, Michaela. Nice job, Malia. Nice job, Damari. Great job, Princess. Great job, Amari. Miss Sarah, I think everybody could get a dojo point because every friend on our rug just showed me they're ready to learn. They're crisscross, their eyes were on Miss Thompson, their ears are listening, and they're nice and quiet. Yes, David. Yes, David. Oh, not today. We'll talk about that later, okay? Now, normally, after our mini lesson, Miss Thompson told you we were going to go read around the classroom. But today we can't read. And there's a reason, because last week was our first week of kindergarten. And Miss Thompson did a lot of watching. And we don't really know how we treat books yet. So tomorrow morning, Miss Thompson's going to teach you the right way to be a book lover, how to treat a book. But until we learn how to do that, we can't start using our books. So instead, for our work time today, I'm going to have you go to your seat, and I want you to draw me a picture of you ready to learn. I want you to show me what you look like. Elijah, could you get the door, please? Yeah. When you are ready to learn. We're only going to take about five minutes to draw that picture. And then we're going to come back to the carpet and it'll be share time. And Ms. Thompson will pick five friends to show their picture of what they look like when they're ready to learn. Give me a thumbs up if you know what you're going to go do. Lily, what are you going to draw a picture of? What? Um, of what you're ready to learn. Yeah, you're going to draw a picture of you ready to learn. All right, make sure you go back to that same spot you chose this morning. Remember, every morning we choose a seat. It's our seat for the whole day. Oh, it's our blue poem. I forgot to do it during morning meeting. Can you remind me when we're done with this that we have to practice it? Thank you. You're so responsible. You're more on top of it than I am.